I'm not gonna say anything because I know that so many people love that one. Let's move on. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today I'm gonna revisit, retest some perfumes that I just didn't like. Uh, some of them are very popular, some are not that popular but probably you already heard about them. Probably sometimes in the past you heard someone mentioning them and um, all of these i had samples i purchased all of these samples because the notes sound amazing and i really thought i'm gonna enjoy them but in reality i didn't like them so i just want to see if um i feel the same about them i had this video idea from greta greta beth here on youtube check her um youtube channel out because like her niche collection is absolutely insane like she has so many niche perfumes and she knows like she knows what she's talking about um i've watched her amouage video her zerja video like she generally knows what she's talking about so if you're into niche definitely check her out because she's absolutely amazing and like i said her collection is absolutely like wow it's just wow like selfages doesn't have that many perfumes um as she has like no like my local surfages and it's like massive one doesn't have that many perfumes okay her collection it's amazing so definitely check her out and yeah she inspired me to do this video i have in here five fragrances that were kind of a maybe and then i have another 10 perfumes that i really really didn't like so we're gonna see if i feel the same about them but before that if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and now let's jump in okay let's start with a very popular one nishane ani um i remember that this one was very green and very herbal in the same time i ah, know i have i already have a green what is it eau de well eau de toilette um a green vanilla but it's not too green and the vanilla is very very sweet and yummy hmm see now it's still green but it's not that herbal medicinal i know that she said in her video that some of them they just need time um and they're gonna smell different so that's why i really want to do this to see exactly if my sample was maybe too new or my nose change or i i really want to do this but this nisha neani oh okay i actually quite enjoy this one it's still not that gourmand it's still not that sweet as people are saying it is obviously i'm not gonna have to divide it down because we're not gonna stay here half an hour for every single sample but I quite like this one now i know i wasn't totally like put off by this i, I didn't say that it's horrible but i wasn't like a fan but now hmm let me let me spray what what actually let me spray like that what well that different actually no i feel like what well it's greener that's weird Okay, I kind of like Annie now. I'm not really sure if I'm going to buy a bottle. But I kind of like... I kind of like Annie now. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Next we have... Parfum du Marli Cassili. Is it Cassili or Cassili? I've heard both pronunciation. Probably nobody knows. I remember that this one was very floral and nothing wow. I know it has frangipani. Ooh, it has frangipani and peach. It's quite nice. It's quite nice. But, and it kind of it has something that I don't really know. Like, like I don't know. Like the frangipani that's in here is not that alive. It's kind of like a dead flower, to be honest yeah i i can see exactly why i didn't like this i mean i liked it but i wasn't like in, super impressed the french bunny it's not as sweet it's not as maybe because maybe the peach not really getting peach getting like a dusty frangipani. bunny like the flowers were um, died and there's some dust on them but that's still sweet okay this one is nice because this one like this one for sure i'm not gonna buy 
The next one we have What about Pop, the House of Wood? And I do have a massive problem with the House of Wood. I've tried so many perfumes from them besides um, Daisy Light and Grape Purse. All of the other ones had this I know, very scratchy opening that I absolutely hated. I tried to uh, keep Clays. I owned Almond Harmony. And this one is the popcorn one. I'm still getting that thing. I'm still getting that medicinal scratchy. In the background, it's like the most delicious popcorn. Like it's way better than Paco Rabanne Pure Excess. I have that one as well. That one it's popcorn, but also it's floral. This one is like pure gourmand, but it's just that thing that sits on top of it. That's so medicinal. And it happened with all of them, like all of the house of foods that I tried besides, like I said, this one and um, grape purse. I do really like, like I do really like what is underneath, but on top is that, is that thing, no, I'm not gonna buy this one, no, no. We are not a fan. Amouage Portrayal Woman. I described this, I think I featured all of this in videos before, I described this as a very dark jasmine. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait a second. This is good. Like it's dark, it's deep, but it's sweet and creamy almost in the same time. Very powerful woman vibe. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay, why didn't I buy it before? Okay. Why didn't I like you? Okay. We're gonna put this one on the side. Okay. We're gonna think about that. And the last one, Lalibella, Memo Paris. Lalibella didn't impress me. I have Granada and I have Tamarindo. Uh, Lalibella, I don't know. It was just like meh. Mm hmm. There's something very creamy in this. I don't know the nose. It might have coconut maybe. It has some flowers for sure, but I cannot tell you if they're like pink flowers or purple flowers or white flowers. But it's something very creamy. And sweet in the same time. That's why I'm thinking maybe coconut. Mm. Okay. Okay, this, those two, Larry Bella and Portrayal from Amouage, we're going to keep them on the side. We're going to see how we feel about the dry down. Now, let's move on to the ones that I really like. And um, most people really like them. First, let's start with Tom Ford Rose Prick. Uh, I'm not sure if I featured this one in a video, but I remember it was like, the, like one of the worst. Um, roses that I've tried. I remember it smelled like nail polish and rose. I really didn't like it. Okay, it's not that bad anymore. But I'm still getting this like nail polish. But I remember like the first time when something green, the first time when I tasted this, I was like, absolutely no, no, like, no, no, no. How much is this thing? Like, might be just me, might be just my nose, okay? I'm very picky with my roses, okay? I have another two perfumes in here that are all about the rose and I really don't like them. And most people really enjoy them, so... Might be just my nose, but no, I don't like this. No, I don't like this, no. Rose Freak, Tom Ford, I still don't like it, no. Um, next one, we have Holidays from Mancera. I hate Mancera, just in general. Um, it works on paper, it doesn't work on my skin, so that's why this one we need to spray it on the skin because I know that I'm gonna like it on paper. Okay, let's let's spray here as well. See why it's different? Why it's different? On paper, it's sweet, it's creamy, it's coconutty, it's shiny, it's and on me it smells like all of that and burnt tires like just why 
my skin doesn't agree with mascara okay check this one out but test it on the skin please this is this is good in here and this is horrible in here no no still feel the same about um holidays and it's not just this one all of their perfumes um did the exact same thing for me so uh, i'm just not trying them anymore no i'm done with this and next we have Oh, I have a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the worst for the end. Jo Malone, Myrrh and Tonka. I remember for me, it kind of smells like Play-Doh and something plasticky. Yeah, still the same. Okay, I can, I can, I can smell the, the Myrrh now. Okay. Okay, it's not a horrible. Wait, it still is. It has a. I can. I can de detect the mur now. Before it was just like, like pure, pure play doh. No, no, no. I still don't like it. No, I know it, this one is a favorite. Like so many people absolutely love that scent, but it's just not for me. Um, let's move on to another perfume du Mali. This one it's Safanad. I remember really liking the opening, but then the dry down and no, no. It's um, about orange blossom, this perfume. Does it have Neroli as well? Because I feel like this one smells like Neroli. I know, this one reminds me of the uh, classic from Jean Paul Gaultier and classic um, Essence. I didn't like like any of those two. I, I like it. It's very um strong on orange blossom neroli but it smells kind of mature like i love orange blossom i already made a video about orange blossom i like very realistic orange blossom perfumes like granada from memo paris but this one is just i'm not gonna say anything because i know that so many people love that one let's move on let's move on to Memo Paris, because we were talking about Memo Paris, Marfa. This one is a tuberose scent, and I know that Paulina, uh, Paulina Char, she absolutely loves this one. Um, and like, I don't know, 80%, 85%, we love the, like, the same things. Oh, I cannot stand this one. I'm so sorry. This one is so green. It reminds me of um, Helen from Ben Halligans. I sold that one because that one was green, but this one is like very green. Like, it's scratchy. I'm so sorry. If you like this one, good for you, but... And it's sour. It's almost like sour green tuberose. It just doesn't work for me. My nose doesn't agree with this thing. Uh, Memo Paris Marfa. How many we have left? We have five. Um, let's move on to Rose, Gallagher, Rose Al Olde, Rose Olde, I don't know how to pronounce that, this I remember it smelled like, I don't know, like overripe fruits, like grapes, it smells like When I was little and I was going to the countryside and people were uh, like making wine and no, it smells like overripe, I, I don't know, grapes, like they weren't bad, like they weren't very, very bad. I don't get any rose. I just get some grapes that like were sitting there in the sun for like one month. I don't like this. I don't like this. Um, I really don't like this. Um, we have another rose that again lots of people love um, Amy loves this one and same thing me and her we usually have the same taste especially in gourmands but apparently not in rose perfumes this one doesn't work for me Nea Nea this one smells like rose and vinegar <laughs> don't like it i don't like it why i don't like you 
I not see like now I'm kind of getting like a jammy rose, but it's like mm, no. No, this video is not going good. I was hoping, I was hoping to like maybe like four, five perfumes. Um but uh, no, I still don't like them. We have two gourmands in here. Gourmand Bakur. If this one, I remember it was like way too sweet, like extremely sweet. Like, no. It's very sweet. See, with vanilla and with caramel, sometimes I really like it even though it's sweet. Sometimes it's getting like dusty, scratchy, powdery. This is what happened with this. It has something very creamy in it, but it has something very, very scratchy. Same as the House of Food. Like if you would not have that absolutely horrible thing in, in like on the top, What's underneath? I really like it, but it's very scratchy. No, no, no. Let's move on. Two more. Uh, Sweet Oriental Dream from Montal. This one, people saying this one smells like baklava. I love baklava. Um, and I didn't really get that. This one again, it's meant to be a gourmand, but if with gourmand bakura, I, I could smell the gourmand things that are going on underneath that scratchy i oh my god i really don't like this and i like montal usually and i like sweet perfumes i like um sweet vanilla i have vanilla absolute i like, I like sweet perfumes but in this one it's no i don't like it last one you didn't hear about this probably, but people on Fragrantica were raving about this. This one is from Kerosene, um, the brand that has Unknown Pleasure. I like that one, but I wasn't like crazy. It's not that good one. It's more like tea. Um, this one is uh, Unforsaken. I think they said it, it smells like an orange creamsicle, if I'm not wrong. This was the worst perfume that I ever smelled in my like, life. Like, I thought maybe, especially because this is more like indie niche. <sighs> it's so artificial. It's so it smells like like vinegar with I don't know burnt tires with uh, no 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 I cannot smell that one. I cannot smell that one. No, uh, I still hate it. I thought, like I said, because it's more like an indie brand. I thought maybe in this time, it's been almost one year. No. You are a no. Now let's move back to La Libera and Portrayal. I still like, I like Portrayal. Okay. Okay. Listen, this one is good. Like, it's very dark and deep. But very, not mature, but very like put together. Like that type of woman, like bossy. I do like this one. I do like this one. And then I have Lalibella. It's very faint. It really annoys me because it's very faint. I don't have that problem with Granada or Tamarindo. And this one is like very faint. But I still really like it. It's extremely creamy. Like very, very creamy. Okay, I like those two. I can't find the paper for Annie. Let's... Oh, it's not that one. Wait, 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 wait. That's uh, what about pop? That um, weird thing disappeared. Oh my god. That thing disappeared. It's pure popcorn. Do I need this? Do I need this? Can I forget about the opening? Okay, okay, I can. Okay, I like that one. Okay, this one is Annie. This one is Annie. And it doesn't smell bad. Okay. Mm, it's very sweet. Okay, I, I, I can I can see why people are saying that this one is like very cool one. Okay, I need to compare this one with Od Odwell and I might get this one. Like I might get this one, Laribella, Portrayal, and what about pop? Still need to test them on my skin. 
okay okay this video didn't go that wrong okay again if you if you like any of these perfumes that said i absolutely hate i'm sorry we all have different tastes okay in food in clothes in perfumes in everything so don't get offended i like this one okay i like uh, nishane ani okay i need to play with this one more that's it that was it and um, i hope you didn't get that offended and i hope um, you had um, some fun watching me testing uh, the perfumes i absolutely hate and yeah that was it for today guys thanks so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to give the big thumbs up subscribe to my channel let me know in the comments down below what perfumes you absolutely hate and uh, what perfumes you hated in the beginning and now you not necessarily love them but you really like them okay that was it for today i'm gonna see you in my next one Bye bye